In this video, we will discuss the location and radiation of the semilunar valves murmurs. We'll discuss their clinical features only. Generally speaking, semilunar valve stenotic murmurs are systolic and semilunar valve aortic and pulmonary valve regurgitant murmurs are diastolic. And reverse is true of the AV valve stenotic murmur. The AV valve mitral and tricuspid valve stenotic murmurs are diastolic, whereas AV AV valve regurgitant murmurs are systolic. So let's discuss the semilunar valves, aortic and pulmonary valve. First of all, aortic stenosis. So the murmur of the aortic stenosis location is the second right intercostal space. And where is the location of the aortic regurgitation murmur? It's in the third left intercostal space. The murmur of aortic stenosis is systolic and that of the regurgitation is diastolic. Aortic stenosis murmur radiates to the external notch and to the carotid arteries in the neck. So what are the other features of the aortic stenotic murmurs? This murmur has a pulsus parvus or pulsus tardus, weak pulse and an A wave in the neck. What's the cause of A wave in aortic stenosis? A wave in aortic stenosis is due to hypertrophied interventricular septum that prevents right ventricular distensibility. The left ventricular impulse is displaced laterally in aortic stenosis. There is a systolic thrill that radiates to the suprasternal notch and to the carotid arteries. What about the heart sounds in aortic stenosis? The second heart sound, there is paradoxical splitting of the second heart sound. Here it is paradoxical splitting. The pulmonary sound comes before the aortic valve closure and why does it occur because of the delay in the closure of the aortic valves the other heart sounds are fourth heart sound is audible why it reflects the left ventricular hypertrophy which is already displaced laterally and inferiorly and a third heart sound occur when does it occur it occurs when left ventricle dilates so in aortic stenosis there is reversed or paradoxical spreading of the second heart sound the third heart sound occurs when there is LV dilatation and fourth heart sound occurs when there is left ventricular hypertrophy. Aortic stenotic murmur which is in the right second intercostal space is characteristically ejection or mid systolic and comes after the first heart sound and peaks in the middle and then declines and ends before the second heart sound. In congenital aortic stenosis there is early systolic ejection sound. When does it disappear? This disappears when the valve is calcified, rigid and and immobile. So disappearance of the murmur in congenital aortic stenosis is not a good feature. So what happens in severe stenosis? As long as cardiac output remains normal, there is grade 3 to 6 murmur and the murmur becomes soft and short when when heart failure occurs, stroke volume is reduced and murmur becomes soft. What's Galavardin phenomena? Aortic stenosis murmur disappears from the right second intercostal space and appears at the apex beat area in the left fifth intercostal space, mimicking mitral regurgitation murmur. Now coming to the pulmonary stenosis and pulmonary regurgitation. So what's the location of the murmur of pulmonary stenosis and pulmonary regurgitation? Vegetation. Location of murmur in pulmonary stenosis and pulmonary regurgitation in the left second intercostal space left of sternum. Pulmonary stenosis produces a systolic murmur and pulmonary regurgitation produces a diastolic murmur. So in the second right intercostal space is the murmur of aortic stenosis and in the second left intercostal space is the murmur of pulmonary stenosis and pulmonary regurgitation whereas the murmur of aortic regurgitation occur in the third left intercostal space. Involvement of the pulmonary valves is uncommon in rheumatic heart diseases. Carcinoid syndrome may cause both pulmonic stenosis and pulmonic regurgitation. So when does pulmonary regurgitation occur? It occurs secondary to pulmonary valve ring dilatation due to severe pulmonary hypertension and this produces Graham steel murmur. So what's a Graham steel murmur? It's a high pitched decrescendo diastolic blowing murmur at the left sternal border and which is difficult to differentiate from the murmur of the aortic regurgitation because that is also decrescendo diastolic murmur but that one is in the left 
third intercostal space. Pulmonic regurgitation occurs universally in patients who have had right ventricular outflow tract reconstruction in tetralogy of phallate in childhood.